Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Happy Monday, and this is Pastor Chad with your word for the day. Hey, can I just tell you that God's plans for you and your life are better than your plans? Uh, and the sooner that we realize this truth, the more blessed we're going to be. James chapter 4, verse 13 says, Come now, you who say, Today or tomorrow we will go into such and such a town and spend a year there and trade and make a profit. Yet you do not know what tomorrow will bring. I mean, what is your life? For you are a mist that appears for a little time and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if the Lord wills, we will live and do this or that. As it is, you boast in your arrogance. All such boasting is evil. So whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him it is sin. Um, James rebukes the arrogance of our plans. Hey, look, we all make plans. We all, you know, look at the future and go, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to go here, I want to experience this. And James just says, look, I just want to encourage you to submit to God's plans because God's plans are better than your plans. I've told this story many times at Calvary and I'll keep telling it as long as God gives me breath. I came here as pastor in 1992, uh, first pastorate, uh, only church I've ever pastored, and I thought, I'm going to be here for three or four years. I'm going to learn how to pastor. And then I'm going to move to a real church in a real city. Those are words that I used. Um, God had different plans. And, and along the way, uh, I, you know, cried out to God, why am I still here? And then cried out to God, God, uh, I'm okay being here. And cried out to God, maybe I can stay here. And, and now it's God, leave me here, please. But my plans were totally different. And guess what? I'm an idiot. God's plans are so much better. So practice humility and submission to God's plans and you're going to be blessed. Now, I have to wrap this up talking about verse 17 because uh, it doesn't seem to fit sometimes, but it really does. See, we make plans and we want God to bless our plans, right? I mean, that's kind of what we do. We make our plans. We say, okay, God, here's my plans. I hope this honors you and please bless them. Please give them to me. And when he doesn't, we pitch a fit a lot of times. But God says this, do what I've already told you to do and I'll bless you. Otherwise, you're living in sin, right? To him who knows what is right to do and does not do it, to him it is sin, all right? So God's like, look, my child, I've told you what I want you to do. If you do that, there's going to be blessings just incredible in your life. And we, and we know what these, you know, commands are. They're obvious, you know, love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. If we're not doing that, we're not doing what God's told us to do. We're in sin, we know that we're supposed to forgive everyone of everything they've done wrong to us. Why? Because that's how God forgives us. To do otherwise is to live in sin. We know that we're supposed to be a servant. I mean, Jesus said, if you want to be great, be the servant of everyone. Well, we want to be great, but we want to do it our way, not God's way, and so we're miserable. Uh, Jesus said, look, give generously, give ridiculously. Give and it will be given back to you. The measure you use will be measured to you. And we balk at that. We think, oh, that doesn't really work for my life. I'll just do it my way instead of God's way, and we live in sin. And the Apostle Paul says, Rejoice always, pray continually, and everything give thanks. This is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. So are we always rejoicing? Are we always praying? Are we always grateful? When we're not, we're in sin. You see, here's the reality. If we do what God tells us to do, I mean, just the real plain black and white simple stuff, God's going to bless us incredibly and he will lead us into his plans, which will bless us even more. So I don't know what you're planning today, but why don't you submit them to God and do what he has for you to do. It will bless you. Have a great day.